What's up? It's your boy again. I'm back again with another, with another Dean Schneider video. And you know what's up? It's Gabby Lee. So let's check this video out. And this time around, we are checking out Dean Schneider's scary snake moment. Something like that. Yeah. I don't like snakes at all. Like, no, 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 no. I'll be very scared. <laughs> I'll be very scared watching this video. So guys, watch this video with me. Please like this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't because we are trying to get 1,000 subscribers. Please, let's get right into the video. Let's go. Watching the way Dean Schneider handles snakes is so fascinating. I know many people do not like snakes, but you will fall in love with I'm Dean number Schneider's one. Snakes. I don't like snakes. On this channel, I create videos concerning Dean Schneider. If you love to see more videos, don't forget to subscribe and please like this video. Leave your comment in the comment section on whatever you think about this video. That's it, that's it, that's a win, bro. Now she's our new family member and I'm gonna put her now into a new home. Look at my guy's eye. The guy was like, Snakes are also to be loved, though we don't need to have them as pets, but protect them. Bro, oh, look at this eyes, bro. My guy was like, my Dean guy was Schneider surprised. added a new member to the Hakuna Mapaka's family. On this video, Dean Schneider was looking for a name for this Doomroll Boa snake. No, oh, bro, I can't even look at this. I can't. I'm so scared, dude. <laughs> hey guys, I hope you're doing well. So this is also one of our family members. And actually, I need a name for him. It's a boy. So maybe you guys can help me out with no, that. No. Isn't he beautiful? That's a Dumeril boa. Snakes are such cool and fascinating animals. Dean Schneider shared some educative facts about how to handle snakes. All right, hey guys. So today I'm gonna show you how to handle snakes. So first of all, you need to give her the opportunity to stabilize on you, which means she will go around your arm or your, your neck or something like that, just to make sure that she doesn't fall off. Now, if she starts to move, make sure that you give her the freedom to move in which any direction she wants. You don't want to grab her like strong or tight like this. You just want to give her the freedom and opportunity to move in whichever direction she wants. And uh, then the other thing is now, for example, you get uncomfortable in that situation and you want to get rid of her or give it back to your friend or to whoever or put her back into the tank. Now, what you shouldn't do is you shouldn't just pull her off your arm. What you need to do in this situation, try to open her up. You grab her at the tail, you open her up and you take out your arm. That's the right way to do it. You don't want to force that animal into any situation. I think there is something very special about children. They connect well with animals. Here we can see Dean Schneider and a baby playing with a giant snake. According to Dean Schneider, Yucca, which is the name of the baby, will never ever hurt or abuse a snake in his future life because through this experience he learned to love them and we humans protect what we love. If we do this with every kid, we are looking at a bright future for our planets and wildlife. But one question for everyone, would you have sat there with Dean Schneider and the giant no, snake? Bro. Leave your answer in the comment no, section. I didn't grow up like that, so it's not going to happen. Like, no, no, no. <laughs> wow. This is a beautiful snake, eh? And it feels good. Mm, look at the massive cool. snake, bro. Can you see this? Look at the rainbow color, it's so beautiful. Bro. That's the tail. Look at This is the tail. Yeah. Yeah. And there, she's smelling with her tongue. Yeah, rubbish doesn't belong into nature, right? Exactly. Clean your hands. This is yet another new member that needed a name. Dean Schneider added another snake to the Hakuna Mapaka's oasis. Hey guys, so this is our newest family member. And uh, she's a rainbow boa. And as you can see, uh, it depends on from which angle you look at her, you can see all those beautiful rainbow colors in her. And uh, yeah, in general, I love that snake because that orange combined with that black dots, it just looks beautiful, don't you think so? This is Dean Schneider's beautiful mother. According to Dean Schneider, he always introduces all the new members of Hakuna Mapaka's family to his mom. That's a win, that's a win, bro. That's a win, she's beautiful. This has become a tradition for Dean Schneider. Learning about snakes is very important because for us to be able to love these animals, we must first know about them. Here is Dean Schneider sharing facts about snakes for educative purpose. Hey guys, so let's go back to some educational videos. Um, this is Lulu. She's a huge Burmese python. 
And Burmese python, they are one of the five largest species of snakes in the world. Now they are native to South and Southeast of Asia. These are two cool facts. But now, now I want to know what you guys can find out about that beautiful snake. Go on Google, check out videos, get all your informations together and comment below. My father, what the clock? The most fascinating, coolest and most interesting facts about these snakes. And don't forget, oh my God, that snake is heavy. And don't forget to um, don't forget to share that video so that we can spread the knowledge all around. Enjoy your day. This is one part of living with the animals Dean Schneider has to deal with on a regular basis. To be honest, Dean Schneider love it. And even though the Mozambican spitting cobra is one of the deadliest snakes in whole Africa, she is very important for our ecosystem and an extremely fascinating animal. Would you risk your life to catch and relocate this snake or kill her straight away? Leave your comment in the comment section now. Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you why hands-on conservation is very important for animals. Alright, so this is Jan, this is Albert and this is Arklas. And they are three of my best workers at the Hakuna Mipaka Oasis. Now before they came to the Oasis, they were very scared of snakes and my question is now, why was it like that? Well, our parents say if you see the snake, you must kill it. And why did you have to kill it? Because they are going to bite us. Snake and people, they are not a good combination. They, they usually say the snakes are too poisonous. All of you already killed a snake so far. Yeah. yeah. Many snakes. Many yeah. snakes. Really? Yes. Uh, you're saying you're not scared anymore of snakes, right? And why? Because we realize snakes and women can get along very, very I can imagine myself holding a snake. Bro, how would that be? I don't think that can ever happen. Like, I don't think so. This is what we call hands-on conservation. Through the personal contact, instead of killing them, I don't they love and protect them I don't, right now. I don't the black snakes. mamba is the most feared snake in Africa in size, aggression, toxicity, and speed. She can reach a maximum size of 4.5 meter, a speed of over 35 kilometer per hour, and her bite can kill you in less than 30 minutes. This is why Dean Schneider immediately ran to the camp to remove her and release her back to the wild. This is a Mozambican spitting cobra. Baby rock python. The black mamba. Another wild rock python. <laughs> Bro, that's the second one this week. This snake can kill you in 20 minutes with one drop. 20 minutes. Oh, bro, bro, bro. That's dangerous, bro. No way, I'm not looking at that. Summer season is equal to snake season. This was another snake that was in the camp, a cobra snake. Dean Schneider had to rush to remove her from the camp and release her back to the wild. There's a snake in one of the workers' houses and we're gonna go and catch her now. It's a Mozambican spitting cobra. She's squirting. She's squirting? Yeah, bro. <laughs> So this is a smaller spitting cobra, but the crazy thing what a lot of people don't know is the smaller they are, the more toxic the venom is. It's way more concentrated. That's why this little guy is way more dangerous than a big spitting cobra. As you guys can see, every living being has a value, even that fascinating snake, and we're gonna release him now in the back of the farm. Dean Schneider caught six Mozambican spitting cobras, two black mambas, three rock pythons, two puff adders. Nobody was hurt and these snakes were all released back into the wild. A wind, In Africa, a wind. snakes can be life-threatening for humans and animals, especially the venomous ones. When they are found around the house or in the camps, Dean Schneider and his team do catch them and relocate them back into the wild. This is a Mozambican spitting cobra. Baby rock python. The black mamba. Another wild rock python. Bro, that's the second one this week. This snake can kill you in 20 minutes with... The crazy thing about humans is we can learn how to love. If we learn how to love these animals, we will fall in love with them. Give it a chance and you will see it works. This video took effort to create, so please like, that's share, a win leave for a comment Schneider, and subscribe bro. to the channel for more videos like this. I hope you, you guys enjoyed the video because I did. The video was so good.
Dean Schneider, kudos to you, bro. You are doing a very nice work, and we all appreciate you. So please, if you do like this video, if you if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and also subscribe to the channel because I'm trying to get 1,000 subscribers, guys. Please, please share the video, like the video, leave your comments in the comment section, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.